what do I think the library is used for? It's used for everything, really. It's used for people who need a break from uh, their schoolwork so that they can watch a YouTube video or watch a video game or play a video game. It's for people just to socialize. It's for people to read a book that's not required of them by a teacher. It's often a place to for people to collaborate and get work done before the next period and they have to turn it in. It serves all sorts of purposes. Uh, the first thing I did when I came in is I made that create sign and because that's really what I wanted the library to be is uh, a place where students came to create things. I want the library to be a place where we can uh, showcase students and student work and so from the very beginning we started putting up read pictures of students holding a book that they checked out. That's kind of sort of turned into um, you know, a display of new students with their first book checkout. I talked to the art teachers and asked them to loan us the, the artwork. It makes the place a lot nicer. Our maker space is, is developing and so, you know, if you look at our kind of media center, it's starting to get a little cluttered with the, you know, the recording booth, the green screen, the, you know, the large printer, most of People have discovered our recording booth, um, and that gets used for a lot of different kinds of projects. That room is meant to be a dark, uh, quiet room where you can record things for projects and things like that. Not many students know about that. A lot of people are making music in that recording booth. A lot of people are putting together their movies and films. I've definitely seen other students who have to do like video projects and stuff who frequently use I think like this, the recording room and like the green screen. We also have all our video equipment and editing software and as well as the more craft maker space uh, where we run a sort of craft project every quarter to allow students to do something sort of you know where they can mani manipulate things and create uh, fun products and uh, you know relieve some stress by just sort of taking their mind off schoolwork and focusing on creating a terrarium or creating a kaleidoscope or things like that. For this one, it was like, oh, we should do something for Valentine's Day. What do you want to do? And then we came up with this idea of just kind of creating decorative boxes that you could put a piece of candy in and give it to someone. We want this to be a creative place that inspires you. Mm -hmm.